Now to this, the son of a Dallas school district trustee also shot and killed. And police are still trying to find the person responsible for that murder tonight, which happened early this morning in South Oak Cliff. We've got Aaron Jones live for us over at Dallas Police Headquarters this evening. I know you spoke to Christopher Whitfield's sister tonight. What did she have to say, Aaron? Well, Doug, as you can imagine, she is heartbroken over this news. We did get an opportunity to talk to Dallas police about this investigation today. They tell us that they are interviewing one witness that they hope will point them to a suspect. Meanwhile, that sister is preparing to say goodbye. My brother has a kind heart, so, you know, he, uh, he showed love to everybody, but he never meant no harm towards nobody. Taylor Johnson learned the worst news of her life shortly after her brother died early Thursday morning. Dallas police say around 1.30 a.m. they found 21-year-old Christopher Whitfield in the middle of Utah Avenue in South Oak Cliff with a gunshot wound to his chest. They're still searching for the gunman. <laughs> that was my best friend. It was the only person I could talk to. I don't know what I'm going to do. Taylor says she was with her brother just 30 minutes prior to his death. Christopher gave her a ride home from work. I don't know what happened. I was at my friend's house and my brother called me and he was like, Are you all right? And I was like, What you talking about? I'm chilling. And he was like, You must ain't heard. They said Chris got shot and he died. And I just hung up the phone. He didn't do nothing to nobody. He didn't deserve it. I'm just trying to stay strong for my family. Their dad, Dallas ISD trustee Maxie Johnson. Taylor says he loved his son so much. My daddy was the, the first one right there telling him, preaching to him every day. I just hope justice is served. And Dallas police tell us that they don't know the gunman's motive, but they did point out today that gang activity is known in the area. Meanwhile, they tell us that they're not just actively patrolling the area, they're saturating it. Live at DPD headquarters tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, thank you. And in fact, they asked us to share this with all of you. The Dallas Police Department is pleading with community leaders tonight and anybody who may know anything regarding these recent crimes to step up, to share what you know, and to try and help put an end to all this violence. We need to find the people in the community that can help us out when we talk about the violent crime that's happening in the city. In just five days, seven people have died in murders across the city of Dallas.